Oh, I remember how you was. You were so wild and crazy. You was just saying everything. Okay, that was then and this is now. I'm born again filled with the Holy Ghost. Don't let people hold your past over your head. You fail a lot of time and we all have failed. If you say you're perfect, you're lying and the truth is not in you. If you say you have not sinned, you're lying and the truth is not in you. God said we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We missed it. We have failed somewhere down the line because we are not Mr. Perfect. Amen? Thank you, Lord. I'm not, I'm not a failure just because I'm not perfect. That's right. I'm not a failure just because I'm not perfect in my emotions. I'm not a failure because I can get back up. Donovan Clark can say, we fall down, but we can't get up. We have to make a decision for ourselves. We got to make a decision, make a proclamation, make a declaration, say, yes, I did fall. But I'm going to get back up again. I'm going to keep on trying. See, failure, it does not, it does not say that you're nothing. Amen? It just say you were trying. See, people mock you when you when they see that you try to do something and you did not achieve it. Well, just what you got to say, well, hey, hey, I'm just going to try again until I get it. Maybe I missed it. Don't be ashamed to tell somebody that you failed in something. Don't don't walk around and say, well, look, there's the end of the world because I failed. But see, when people see you like that, they look at you like, yeah, he, it don't feel good to fail. Amen. Thank the Lord. See, failure is it 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 it, it seems the enemy bring to say, yeah, you can't do it. What you got to do is re rebuke that spirit. Amen. Thank the Lord. You got to rebuke it. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I it just I would not be controlled by other people thinking, say, and, and, and what they say or do. Even if they, they totally reject me, I would not be controlled by what other people uh, 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 think about me and say and say about me. And even though they reject me, you cannot let people talk get next to you because you didn't didn't accomplish what what you set out to do. But guess what? You were doing it. You were doing it. Uh, even George Miles said something real. She said, even if you got fear, you got to do it afraid. Even though you do it, you got to keep on doing it, doing it afraid. So I ain't never walked on the water. See, Peter walked on the water. But Peter, he did walk. I, 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 I oftentimes, I, when I see it, he had to be afraid. Because when he, he got so afraid that those people that was on the boat, they were back there talking, making a lot of noise. They said, Peter, you can't walk on the water. And Jesus, when Jesus told him, said, Peter, if you come. And, and when the moment Jesus told Peter, say, Peter said, Lord, if that be you, bid me to come walking on the water. Peter walked out on the water. He walked on the water, and all of a sudden, those boys that he left on the boat, those ones that had been talking too much, and they had the faith to walk out on the water, they back there, Peter, you don't want to be walking on the water. You don't want to be doing that. And he let what people say cause his demise. He let what people say cause him to sink. And when he sank, Jesus, Peter said, Lord, save me. Jesus reached down with his hand and pulled Peter up. And when he pulled him up, he got him on the boat and said, ye, but little faith, why did you doubt? It's those people that you're hanging around sometimes will cause you to be doubtful and fearful to walk out. And therefore you fail in areas that Peter was walking. He did walk. But failure comes when he stopped believing. Amen. That's why Jesus Jesus told Peter, said, Simon, Simon, that Satan has asked to see, tip you. This is Luke 31, Luke 21, 22, and 21. He said, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as we. But I pray, I pray for you, Simon, that your faith fail you. Fail you not. Okay, what he was even saying is that your faith, I'm praying for you, that your faith may not fail. He didn't say that you wouldn't fail, that your faith wouldn't fail you. Meaning that you got to keep your faith even in a dark area that you cannot even see. You got to know that Jesus is there. See, when you understand that the power and authority that invested that Jesus around, when you understand you're in good company, God is not going to let you fall. When you get into a, in the area that failure that you feel like Jesus, that Lord is, is not going to keep you suspended on that water, that's what you're saying. You're saying that He's going to let me sink. When Peter believed that he could not do it, first he stepped out when Jesus told him to come. But he listened to the folks and his faith fell because what he was walking by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. Not by, not by sight. See, faith stands alone with our faith. We stand alone and we believe. See, faith stands.
stands alone in, until we believe. We're walking by faith because we believe. He stopped believing and his faith failed. That's why Jesus said, he said, Peter, I'm the same desire to have you. He had asked to test you, but I'm praying that your faith fail you not. How many times we step out on the water? We step out when we got a lot of people banned on that you can do it. And then the moment the people said, I don't know. I don't believe you got enough. I don't believe you can do it. And all of a sudden your faith, your faith was on the people. Your faith was on them what they said. So you got to stop hanging on the, on, on the thread of what the people say. Because when you hang on the thread of what people say, and the people stop praising, stop telling you can do it, you're going to sink. You depending on the people. You depend on the people to praise you. Because people will let you down. The same for one that say Hosanna. Well, next time you see them, they'll say, crucify. You cannot go on the pen of other people. Because people will change their mind about you. They will they say, well, he used to have it, but he don't have it now. Don't go on the opinion of what people say. You cannot hang on a people's opinion of you. You got to get rid of it. Don't care what they say. See, when you get, let me just say this to you. You got to get delivered from people. See, when you still got your mind so focused on people, people are gonna let you down. See, you got to get, see, you got to get that crud that you need uh, people all the time. See, when you're looking at the numbers, you're gonna get worried. You're gonna get discouraged. If you're looking at Jesus, you said, that's the one I need. But you figure on numbers, you go faith gonna fail. Because you all about the number. That's why when you're doing something for God, you got to look at Christ Jesus. You got to forget about the numbers. You got to focus on what that said the Lord. And your faith gonna be strengthened in your inner man. Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. No matter how often you uh, often I fail, I will not give up. I don't care how often I, I fail, I cannot give up. Amen. You got to say it to yourself. I don't care how many times I fail, I will not give up because God is with me and He will strengthen me and He will sustain me. I don't care what, how many times I step out and I, and I, and I may have missed it, but I ain't giving up. Amen? Because God is with me. See, you have to know that for yourself. Right. Don't let nobody tell you that He's not with you. You have to know that for yourself. Say, God is with me. Amen? And God will strengthen me. He's with me. I don't care how many times I fail, but I will not give up because God is with me. I don't care how many times. No devil in hell will make me give up because I've been bold with the pride. God been too good to me. When you when you come out bold, see what happens when you know you, you know God's a better present help in the time of trouble. It'll make you bold because you know all your help coming from God. I don't care what nobody say. It make you step out bold. It's something about when you know you've been there. When you know God. Is there. When you feel God under you with strength and power, it'll make you be strong. It'll make you be bold. When the, in the, every situation you walk out there and they'll look at you strange and say, man, he must know something. You, I know God is the present help. Mm -hmm. I know he's the present help in a time of trouble. I don't care what you go through in life, you better know that God is a present help in trouble. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I feel this power here tonight. He has promised me never to leave me, nor forsake me. See, when God give me that, that, that assurance, mm -hmm. oh, help me, Lord, today. When God give me the assurance, He said, I promise not to leave you. Thank you, Lord. David said, he said, I was one young, but now I'm old. But I never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he seed begging bread. That's enough to keep me going. That's enough to keep the blood that going to warm me my thing. He said, I was young, but now I'm old. But I never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he seed begging bread. I'm not, I'm not a failure just because I'm not perfect in my emotion. I can't, I can't walk around with failure. I can't walk around with my head down when ain't a lot of people around. See, the devil loves that. See, when I come to make, when I come to church, I come to give God my very best. Ain't no tears in my eyes. God been good to me. Ain't, ain't no time to hold your head down looking pitiful. You better hold your head up because the devil's job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But God has said, I have come that you have life and that you have it more abundant. You got to lift your head up. Yes. Yes. No time walking around looking pitiful. I ain't got no sad story for you. Mm -hmm. All I got in, in me is God being good to me. I ain't got no crying eyes. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, He is. See, I, when I came up in the old school, we didn't walk around looking sad because a sad continent said that the devil had defeated you. When you walk around 